very sorry developers of this new game. You contacted me to cover this new project that you're making, to cover it extensively on the channel and talk about it positively, but I just cannot, I just cannot. At the moment, this is 100% not something that I can do and I won't fake being excited for it because this just doesn't look like a proper fun experience. Just a graphics showcase with tons of lag and no real vision and we really need to talk about first off, why this game might be doomed from the beginning and second, why you should be very careful of buying this upcoming game on PC and PS5. The graphics look great but there is a big saying that graphics do not make a game, especially with a project like this. So we're gonna talk about this. So yes, it's also coming to PlayStation 5 if you, if you didn't know. PlayStation itself shared this game on their channel today at the time of this video. This is Neo Berlin 2087. And if you didn't know, this game was first called Shadow of Conspiracy Section 2 and has already been announced to a gameplay reveal almost two years ago in August 2021. This is a game where technological advancements and cyberization have divided society into a two-class system where the rich are ruling over the city while the poor are fighting for survival inside the slums and in the deadly wasteland outside the new Berlin city walls. Well at least they have got a unique setting here, I can give them that. A cyberpunk Berlin isn't really a setting that I've seen often. As a detective, it is said you have a unique ability to understand human behavior and find clues to solve cases. You can extract valuable information by hacking into the minds of suspects. Every emotion, thought, and memory provides a piece of the puzzle to bring justice and expose hidden secrets. Well, it's great that they're putting this into the description because all I know about this game right now is the never-ending slow-motion shooting in its gameplay. It's said to include unique gameplay, yeah, not so sure about that, built on a blend of first and third person, and you can customize your character's abilities and weapons for whatever playstyle that you prefer. Choose from a vast array of shooter, stealth, and role-playing game mechanics in Unreal Engine 5. This world is a cyberpunk metropolis shielded by massive walls from its devastated surroundings where outcasts scatter and malfunctioning machines roam the land. See, if you would have shown me everything that's written here, I wouldn't have to make this video. Maybe I would be a lot more excited for what seemed like an exciting description. Roaming machines in a Berlin cyberpunk world just sounds really cool, but there's nothing that's been shown here. It also says you'll be able to fully explore the wasteland full of dangerous enemies, realized with unparalleled realism and immersion. Meet the citizens of Berlin, who are plagued by corruption, inequality, and cyberization, and texture reflexes in exciting combat sequences, or avoid confrontation with a more stealthy approach. I'm sorry again to the developers for saying this, but it seems like I'm reading a description of a game that's not this one. Where's the massive wasteland of Berlin with malfunctioning machines roaming around? Where are the citizens that you can meet and talk to living their day-to-day -day life? Right now, this looks like a ton of remade assets thrown together to make some kind of impressive tech demo showcase that isn't really impressive, except for those that live in the PS3 era or the kids that like to see shiny explosions. In some parts, the graphics do look nice, but you have to ask yourself what more is there to it. Does shooting robots in endless slow motion with shiny graphics sounds just sounds good to you? Maybe if it released years ago when slow motion wasn't really overused, but now it just feels very cliche and it doesn't feel like its own game. There's nothing right now that tells me I need to buy this game right now because I will get something different or more fun than any other game already released. Don't get me wrong, the setting and story do look interesting. A cyberpunk Berlin to explore, meet its inhabitants and find different machines sounds really awesome, but you haven't shown me anything that actually makes me excited or that is promised here. If these devs can make a turnaround and show something more from it, like a bit of exploration of the world, the different enemies that you can fight and the gameplay features, now I would be excited. It's just not a good reveal to showcase to the world right now. Let me know what you guys think and like this video if you think the same and of course subscribe for more. <laughs>